Okay, so welcome back to part two. Um, we have just had a conversation with the dragon who has said that the people who summoned her there, she wants to get revenge on them, so we have to find out who they are. We saw them in the intro, um, and now we're just going to have to figure out. Unfortunately, the meeting, just grab this screwdriver off of the wall, don't mind me. Someone designed that thing. Um, so we've got all the gold in the world. We have a banana. Oh, is the lo oh, hang on, is Rincewind has got the um, net to yes, put that in there to so I've got more room. <coughs> I'm still a bit banged up, as you can probably hear. A uh, combination of hay fever, a deviated septum, which I think is a major contributing factor to my current ailments. Um, right, so we need to. Um, Travel back to last night, so this game involves time travel, um, which isn't unheard of. If you have read a few of the books, one of them more specifically is Nightwatch, which is a Sam Vimes novel. Uh, there's time travel in that one, all about the Unseen University and what have you. Right, um, this is pub is called The Broken Drum, but we again, we need um, a few bits and bobs from here. Ignore the troll. Actual made of stone. Uh, some of this music does get tedious. Right. So I'll probably get some things out of sequence. Um, but you know, when, if you were playing this game for the first time, that's what you would do. You would click on everything, talk to everybody, find out things. Um, no, yeah. go away! No ghosts! No ghosts! Thanks, son. In my room, a vile creature from the nethermost depths. It took me gate pass, and then it just left. Oh, I'll never forget the horror. Gate pass? You said you'll never forget, as in you could give me a detailed account below my blood, so to speak. Well, yes. Oh, so to speak. Okay, I'm going to skip this for the simple fact I can't hear a thing. Anything anybody is saying. Um, blah, 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 sound. Better, and also subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Thank you. Right. So he, we need a gate pass to get out of the city. Not quite yet, but we will. Um, <coughs> So he was staying at the inn, which we'll do later. Gets, oh no, can't do that yet. So now we're going to find out about Zion Mouse Lackenthal's splenetic emolument, which is one of my favourite phrases in this game. Counter wires wine? Hmm. Hairy, malodorous, the guttering light of stupidity gleaming in his eyes. It's a fair guess that this is the barman. I resemble that remark. Would it be the teensiest bit worth my while asking for some? Highly likely, sir. Well, could I have a glass of counterwise wine then? Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. <laughs> Careful with your drink. It's a wee bit strong. Strong? I didn't feel a thing. It's counterwise wine. It's grown from a grape that grows backwards in time. It affects you before you drink it. You must have had some mother of a hangover last night. Funny, I don't remember anything about last night. Oh, that bad, was it? Counterwise wine is made from grapes belonging to that class of flora, reannuals, that grow only in excessively high magic fields. Normal plants grow after the seeds have been planted. With reannuals, it's the other way around. Although reannual wine causes inebriation in the normal way, the ensuing hangover is thrust backwards in time. Hence the saying, have a hair of the dog that is going to bite you. Okay. Do you want to go to fire? Take this glass. <coughs> if I'll let you. There you go, going to need that. Matches need them. 
Right, so this guy we don't need to find out till later. This guy we need from last night, so okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Blocked nose and diet coke, not really good. Now these are I believe that's Nobby Knobs, that's Captain Carrot, and I don't know who that is. Let's talk to them. Evening all. Now, Nobby? Do I book him now? What for? Um, loitering with intent. Paragraph 7, subsection 3. Lurking, loitering, and vending without due course. Oh, Carrot, give it a rest. Take a walk. Who are you people, anyway? We're the city guard, mister. What, all two of you? Three of us. There's me and the sergeant, who's a bit under the weather as account of making an arrest of a large quantity of lager. Then there's the kid, Carrot. The boy's going to be a full member soon. Marvellous. We're on patrol. There's been a few thefts around here lately. Strange things going missing. Little knickknacks all over town. Almost as if someone's been swallowing them. You don't know anything about it, do you? What? Oh, goodness me, I never heard of any such thing in all my life. Well, we thought we might patrol our way over to the Broken Drum. Then we might patrol our way over to the inn. Then there's a few wine cellars whose doors definitely need checking. I see. So, what are you up to then? Oh, nothing. See, Nobby, loitering. That's loitering. Of course it isn't. Just because I'm not doing anything important doesn't mean I'm loitering. Well, it's as close as maybe. Well, the law has to be specific. What actually is loitering? Oh, well, once upon a time, there was all sorts of laws, of course. Yes, such as, oh, Intent to go into a pub and have a drink. Intent to strip stark naked and wave at passers by. Intent to go into a mistake. pub and have really big drinks. Intent to pass by the guard without giving them a smoke. You haven't got a spare on you by any chance. Uh, no, sorry, I don't. No loss, no loss. Well, look, I wasn't planning on doing any of those things. Well, how were we to know that? But I was just standing there. What's the difference between loitering and minding your own business? Ah, well, your inveterate loiterer sort of sidles his way along the pavement, kind of moving without even twitching a muscle. Uh, oh, yes, I know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, gotta watch for them invertebrates. Some criminals just have no backbone. Had to struggle a bit for that one, didn't you? Okay. Well, I'll just move along. Oh, animation. Here, you can't go through the gates without a gate pass. I can arrest him now, Nobby. That's illegal, that is. Leave him without a pass. I haven't left yet. What? I said I haven't left yet. Yeah, and? If it's only illegal if I leave, then it can't be illegal for me to not leave. Ah, right you are then. Well, just, just watch it, that's all. Just you watch it. Right, okay. <coughs> so, we need a gate pass. Which we will sort out. Let us go to the inn. Up here. Oh, animation issue. <coughs> uh, okay, we can take a bed sheet. Oh, no, that's a frog. Who comes in use later? Let's go to the bathroom. And here we go to Nick's uh, bubble bath. This one comes in here. Do you trust me? I don't think there's anything else. I'm just going to pop over to the right. No, there's some guys here later. I think in X3. <laughs> There's Gaspo the talking dog, I believe he's Gaspo anyway. Uh, really trying to think what I need to do now. Right, well, let's go back to this place. So we are going to go back to the university. I'm also going to go around the back. These all things you just need to pick up a little bit later on. Um, garbage can. We've got a garbage can. That comes in late, handy later. <coughs> Don't need to go up there anymore. Let's go in. Don't eat all that ice cream. I just stop eating so much ice cream. That's probably what contributed. All. We can get addicted to um, Ben and Jerry's Bonoffi and Peanut... Well, Bonoffi and Peanut Butter. Not together. 
Mm-hmm. That's probably what's contributed to my uh, counter nasal infliction. You got addicted to ice cream. Well, that's really nice ice cream. Plus, it's on offer at Tesco, so you know. It is really good. Three pound fifty for a tub. Can't say no to that. Other supermarkets are available, and ice creams. Right, so we need to go into L space. So let's talk to this chap. Who me? Isn't that all? That's just it. Think of it. A seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total. Okay. Uh, right. Right. Well. Talk, look at the banana. He has a banana in his ear. Golden banana. Who me? If you're, isn't that? That's think. Ignore that. What's that banana doing in your ear? Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves. It can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana. It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. Oh, really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. As it happens... Right, well... We have all the gold in the kingdom. Oh, so picky. So yeah, we came up with a concept known as L space, where you lose time if you spend too much time in library, like bookshelves and corridors. That's the concept, anyway. Uh, the last one. There you are, then. What? You mean this? This? Yeah. Well, the patrician's got the vote because he. But that's all the gold, yeah. Definitely. Would I lie? Oh, fine. Fine, I, it's just, I never thought you'd actually, uh, uh, never mind. Is it alright? I mean, you mm? uh, no. can I have my banana then? Uh, uh, sure, here. Uh, right, uh, right to yours. I'll just, uh, I'll just go off with all the gold in the uh, dictatorially democratic regime then, shall I? Yes, indeed. <laughs> right, can I give this to the librarian? What? Oh, I have to say the secret librarian's oath. <laughs> yes, let's let's get through the sinners. There you go. <coughs> huh. Is that all? What happens if I ever reveal the words to an outsider? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Actually, I I never even knew you could do that with an entire sixteen-volume encyclopedia. <laughs> Worst things happen on some shit. Worst things happen at the sea. I think there's a life of Brian quote. Right. Okay. Okay, let's skip through that. Don't need to see all that. Right, let's come down here. Because we are now in last night. Come on, Mr. Luggage. I've got to be careful here, because last time I did this, it froze. So, can we quickly save that? Right. And now we play the waiting game. Here it comes. Right, so there we go. Let's find the book. There you go. A few there. Now we have a shortcut into the University of the Library because otherwise you've got to walk away all the way through the front again. This chap walking around the map is the thief. We just have to find out where he's going. I think you would know where he is by now. There you go. Hide out. A couple of things we need to do here quickly is change the drain pipe. 
Okay, and then we're going to go into the hole. This is a bit of a pain in the ass, this. Because we have to get there before the thief does. So back through here. Right, skip this, because we don't have to see this every time. Then go back through again. It's a bit weird in time travel theory because you go rather than travelling forward in time, you go back to the exact same point, which is kind of counterproductive, really. Right, we need to put the glass on the drain pipe. Ah, oh, that's better. There you go. So now we just wait for the thief to turn up. A lot of waiting around in this bit. That's what antihistamines. Oh yes. Any time you like. Yes. Hail, brother door opener. Doorkeeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. It's... Spoons. Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon Says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Ah, the other password. <sighs> okay. So, <clears throat> now we know the password. Let's try and get in there. Probably isn't going to work. Mm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Hey, hang on. You're not dressed right. There's nothing forbidding and black about you there isn't. So, we need to get a black robe. And I think we know where we can get that one from. So we need to go to the park. Okay, okay. I have absolutely no desire to talk. Oh, so that's where I slept it off. I'd stuff this counterwise wine. There we go. Right now we're going to do something quite counterintuitive and shove the frog down our throat, which explains why we had it earlier. Right, now the butterfly is a bit closer, we can get it with the net. Nice, let's go. Okay, now the last time we saw somebody with a robe was the monk in the middle of the street. Uh, I can't remember what, game, what book it is, but there's a one of them where it talks heavily about the um, the butterfly effect, which you, if you've seen Jurassic Park, you'll know what that's about. Butterfly flaps its wings in Peking. No, what was it? The butterfly flaps its wings in New York, and somewhere you get rain instead of sun, or something along those lines. Anyway, uh, corner. Let's go to corner. Okay, butterfly. So now you know. Okay, this goes on a little bit too long for the game which froze in again. Any time you like, thank you. <laughs> Alright, grab the pot. Uh, 
the eye. Excuse me. What's this then? Prove that you're a man, see Sally at the House of Negotiable Affections and ask for a special. You know, the tone of this place is really going downhill. And it started at the bottom in the first place. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the pub. This area here is a shade, we don't need to go there yet. Okay, see so the drum is still working, or well, still complete, so we need to change that. <coughs> hmm, small and strangely vulnerable. I sense a tragedy in the offing. Who are you? What do you want? Nothing. Look, I've just come in here for a quiet drink. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for any trouble. Why don't you all just leave me alone? Just stay away from me or there'll be trouble. Trouble? No, this is it. Trouble's coming. Such as? Oh, terrible, awful, painful trouble. I'm the toughest bar fighter in town. Really? Yes, so just don't try anything. I could, I could... Mm? Chinese burns can infect, you know. You could be crippled for life. Look, my name is Rincewing. I'm just a wizard. I'm not here to beat you up. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm Horton Shortley, barbarian at law. You look like an accountant. No, I'm not. I'm a horrendously psychotic adventurer. Oh, and I'm not the type of weedy little guy who gets pushed around in bars. Mm, don't assume that just because I'm frightened of the noise of cornflakes that I might not be a serial killer. Don't think just because I like cats that I'm some kind of wimpish. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're not, but I really must go now. That doesn't work. What a lovely picture of the top three place cats in the annual Ankh-Morpork Cat Show. Mm, why, so it is. And worthy of considerable contemplation. So to turn this glass upside down. Just to start a fight. I know people like that. Well, you so. Oh, well. Well, we already looked back there. Right. Luggage. Go on, you. Luggage is also psychotic. Oh, yes, I'll do. Let's go to the inn again. Go in the door, because the scared guy behind the table was in here. Get the cloth and use it on yourself. No, don't do that, you fool! Went to it, there we go. Uh, we'll try to get the jewelry box. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Good, good. I'm sure I'll figure out what this is for. Right, okay, so. Let's find out a bit more information. So let's go here. Then we go here, which is the shortcut into the university. Through. Yes, yes, yes. Every time. How boring. Right. You can open it in the present. In the present, rather. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. I haven't gone to the kitchen to get the cornflour. I'll do that next time. Uh, was it in? in? Nope, I need to go to the pub. Talk to the scared guy. And that is why this is broken, because I've just broken it. Also why this guy has got a broken leg and broken face and chin and jaw and everything. No! Go Relax, son. Oh, let me buy a drink. So, um In my room, a vile creature from the nevermost depth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
shouldn't feel will it improve nah. tell me about this gate pass sorry did i uh oh it was horrible it burst straight out of ah oh. pointing no well i saw nook get the letter out then open the letter read the note and use the but apart from that that's right when i tell me about this hammer thing did your ghost have a hammer <laughs> yes yes so he did um what exactly did he do with it? He cracked open the jewellery box. Cracked it open? I thought. Why? Well, my gate pass was it. Right, so now we know. Back to the past. Okay. Right, so. Go to the university properly this time because a couple of bits we need to do. We want this bag of prunes, so we're going to grab that in a second. I'm just going to go in here, pop to the kitchen. No, 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 down here. Right, into the kitchen. Cornflower, which wasn't there earlier. It will make sense later, trust me. Uh, right, uh, dining room. A lot to be said about the music. This right, uh, I took that thing off the thing, so let me get the thing and do the thing with it. There he is. Let's put that back in there. To do what I need to do, what I need to do. Right, I could do that in the past, so I could do that in the past. If I go to the uh, oh, I will go out because I need the prunes, then I'll go to the street corner to get the robe because I've got it wet. Right, take the prunes, come on, a bit closer. I can't do you when you're moving, so to speak. It's very tricky. Go, yes, I can. Right, uh, go to the street. <coughs> Didn't we? Yeah, the first one I found quite quick, in retrospect, or obviously like previously, that's the word, it took ages. But when you know what you're doing, it's a lot quicker, but, excuse me, Act 2 is a lot more involved. So, well, I've got that. I think it's just straight into our space again now. It's a much quicker way of doing that. Okay, uh, yep, L space. Ignore that, ignore that. Uh, through the hole, go to the hen because I'm there before the thief. Uh, get the robe. I think you use it on the door knocker. Mm, heel, yes, here. Right, okay. Yes, with, there you go. Ah, okay. He has to be a uh, okay. Maybe not. Mm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother Dawson. So here we have a little oh, sequence right. coming up Give me up the now. password and I'll let you in. But if you oh, use the context oh. clues to figure out who we Let's need to talk to. Let's see now. It's... Blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right? No. Hey. You didn't see Simon Says. Oh, Simon Says. <laughs> okay. Welcome, or fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the storm. Hmm. 
Hail, brothers! Hail! 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 Yay, right! Hail! Once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Once again, we shall weave the webs of power. We know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky! Hail! Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a papier mache dinosaur in my bedroom. Then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now I know, I finally know that it is my destiny to rule Ankh Morpork. Here, what about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of uh, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom, without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke-through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tome. Now, for the spell of power, Brother, Brother... Uh, pencil head. Oh, dark spirits of the universe. <coughs> and with this bowl, we do consecrate and, 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 and so forth. Except now, these sacrifices, as we consign the potion to the flames. Bring us the power of the dragon. Dragon! Dragon! dragon. Right, so this is where we came dragon. in. Uh, so, from the clues, we know we've got to get dragon. Jester. The chimney sweep, who we saw on top of the buildings. The Danny Man, who I don't think we've met yet, but we will. The Fishmonger, who we have seen. The Thief, uh, he's in the shades. And the Plaster, who's also in the shades. So. Right, so that's that done. Right, let's go to... I don't think I need to go into the past again, so that's that bit over. But I do need to go to the inn again. Uh, there you go. Right, sheet on him. Uh, joy box. That doesn't work. Oh, bedside table, whatever. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination to a safe. Safe? Not for long, matey. Fish. This should get me out past those goons who guard the city gate. Right. So, like I said, I think that is all I need in the past. Oh, no. Maybe later. Okay. Quickly save that. Uh, hold. It's. What do you got the long way down? So annoying. Okay. Uh, right, so I need to start on getting these gold things. So if I go to the square. Oh, well, one of them's dead.
There's a lovable street starfish. Okay. What was that handshake you did? What handshake? The one you just did then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. You did it again. Did not. Did too. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you, it would no longer be a secret, would it? That's a double negative. What? Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? So, if by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Oh, uh, yes. So, by telling me, it would be a secret. So, you see... It's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. The logic seems highly suspect. And? Well, if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper. You're a street urchin. Starfish. A street starfish, yes. You can't tell me that being a horrible <laughs> fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you. Okay, well, you let's clip through this because it's taking a bit of long. A Venn diagram. Can you read? Ah. You. So just show me the handshake. Couldn't tell you, Gav, not just like that. Not without an initiation. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, he'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real. The sub what I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood, being a stereotype classification of... Now, look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the... S right, OK. <laughs> So that'll do for the time being. Let's get popping here. Will you shut up and sit down? Okay. Uh, ebel, ebel, egg, egg. I'm sorry. The eyes. The eyes. What's happened? I couldn't take it. Ah. This okay. seems like next. Oh, okay. Ah, another case of repressed neuromogrophosis. No, no, I just forgot to shave. So? Oh, well, maybe another time. <laughs> so, Mr. Wizard, first sit down and examine these implants. Uh, tell me what you think uh, this first picture represents. Ah, well, um, it's a bit ugly. A dead birdie? Mr. Dinosaur's bum? Oh, an emperor penguin fed it on a pool cue. Well, you can keep that one. No, no extra charge. Absolutely. And uh, how about this one? Good grief. Hey? Is that you with the mask on? Whoops. <laughs> Wrong picture. <laughs> and what about this one? It's, it's, it's an elephant's backside. Really? Reminds me of a patient they once had. Well, you can keep that one. No, no extra charge. Anyway, how do you have this fixation that you are a pencil? Who told you about that? Oh, come now. Listen, it's only a hat. Just a hat. It hasn't even got any lead in it. A very bad case. A pencil case, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I'd better see you again on Tuesday. Okay. Uh, speak to the girl. I'll try to anyway. <clears throat> when you shut up and sit down. Right. That's better. Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes, well, probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does he look like? Um, well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish, dark hair and a thing on his face. Thing? You know. A beard? Yes. Oh, yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Madam, I believe you are insane. Well, I have to find him. It's all part of the cure. Now that you mention it, I think I may have seen him. Look, uh, give me a note so I can arrange for him to meet you. There you go. 
No, this needs to be a bit bigger. This better. Ink bots and stuff. Uh, it's dibbler. Yeah. Something around here smells like right. cinnamon dipped yeah. toad balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Oh, all right. Just give me some. There you go. Right. Let's pop down here because we haven't been down here before. This is a dunny machine. A bit, well, messy. That doesn't. Okay, so we just have to wait for the dunny machine. Poultry power. That doesn't work. Ugh. Don't think I've got the knife yet, have I? No, oh, here he is. Still going tooth. strong, then. I don't have to take that kind of attitude, you know. You what? It's an ancient profession, this is. Revered in other cultures. Mostly in bacterial cultures, perhaps. Honestly, have you ever thought what the world would be like without effluent management technicians? It's time we had a greater say in government, mate. It's always seemed to me that you have a strong involvement with government in any case. Practically proverbial. Ah, the old sword in the... The... Honey bucket. Thank you. The old sword in the dunny bucket trick. Okay. Donuts. Oh, nothing goes. Right. He's got off to see the dentist. Okay. All I need here. Okay, we're going to go to the gates. Now we have the city pass. Crackers? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Gunpowder? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Here! You can't go through the gates I... without a gate pass. I can oh, arrest him now, Nobby. That's illegal, that is. Leave him without the pass. I haven't left yet. What? I said I haven't left yet. If it's oh, done with this, right, done with this. Just... Right, where's the city pass? Right. So, this was a rather expected piece of the... There you go, let's go here, and we should stop halfway. Yes. Uh, why can't we discuss this? You know, I, I've always wondered, just why are you crossing the road? Look, you can't frighten me. Bad boy. Big need that. Feather. Need that. Uh, let's go to the dark wood. Not the little animation he does there. This is Nanny Og's house. Offler's giblets. It's full of some sort of vile, yellow, blasphemous, five sided. Ooh, no, wait a minute. It's just custard. Right, custard. We want the pot on the cauldron. This, I think, is love custard. No, it's not a euphemism.
Okie dokie. Oh, I need to get it off the page. Let's go to the um, edge of the world. Where's the edge? There it is. So this one is actually a flat earth. If you don't know, it's standing on elephants on, on the back of a turtle. Makes perfect sense. You think that's off that arm was born? What, reading a load of Discord? Possibly. Right, use the fishing net. Or the coconut. Right. Very good. That's, so basically what we have here, we have egg, flour and milk. Which are the ingredients of custard? Right, let's go to. You do go off the edge later, but that's later. God, I still. Uh, we need to go to. Where do we need to go? Oh, bowl shop because we need the dunny man. He's still got his legs cut off, I said. So, how's business? A few cutbacks. We're trimming down our operation. Things are getting hairy. It's just me, really. I can't concentrate. I can't stop dreaming about my little milkmaid. Hmm. What if I were to... Who? Her? The apple of me eye? The most perfect instrument of the goddess of love? That's the one. You're on. Right. So we've got note, which is that one. It's from here. Oh, well, oh, yeah, the very, oh, very nice. Oh, oh she's a naughty one. Oh, 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 oh you are beautiful. awful. Oh, don't ask, she does it. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, 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 her words. Her words are like molten lava trickling down my chest. Oh, okay. she's a lovely woman. Quick. Mind the shop for me, will you? Right, you are then. Right, use the apparatus. If you wired them, I'm going to the dentist. Got it. And nobody noticed. Right, fish one next. I believe it's his belt we're after. <sighs> yes, it is. Morning, Fishmonger. Yeah. Busy day. It's fairly hectic, sir. The mm. ray over there keeps trying to escape. Escape? How on earth does it think it can survive up on dry land? Yes. Well, it's is a ray of hope, sir. I think you're like eating too many fish eggs. Away. It's good for you. That's Quality seafood, sir. Isn't caviar expensive? I don't mind shelling out the money. No more puns. Wizards never could take a yoke. Don't say it. Oh, come on, you can keep up. Stop it, you get me all tongue-tied. You're floundering for new lines, sir. I'll be quiet. Right, um, so we need to... String uh, octopus. Okay, interesting. Put the prunes in the caviar. Not going to notice that at all. He's off to the toilets. I don't think prunes have that much an effect. Okay. There's the belt. Ah, oh, yes. Well... Right, so we need another plan, which you probably should have done first, actually. So, what we need is... Yes, the love custard. If we had spoken to Nanny Og when she was in the palace, she would have told us more about it. But we didn't, so we don't know. Right, so let's just wait for him to come back. Uh. <sighs> it's 
finally, 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 finally. Oh, I just realised that's in the foreground. Yeah, maybe I should have done that at first. <sighs> Tell you, one away, Tim. Oh, he's back. I'll tell you. He's here now. So, into the alley. I'm going to use the octopus. And then I'm going to use the love custard. Again, not a euphemism. So basically, the octopus will fall in love with the first person it comes into so, uh, comes into contact with him. Like, um, oh, what is that thing? Is it Harry Potter? I can't remember. No, it's Willow. That was it. Falling in love with the first person, he falls in love with Sorcia. Uh, right. So, in retrospect, should have done the other two things first, but hey ho. Yep. Must be love. Okay. Take the belt now because he's unconscious, I'm assuming. Right, so that's two. Now we're going to go to. Well, what I'm going to do is go this way. Oh, there's the monk. We don't need to talk to him. I absolutely love that image. Uh, let's get a Hogfather doll. Again, I don't think any of these have any relevance, but it's just something you can collect. Uh, okay, let's go to the palace. Ink blot. That doesn't work. Try this one. Well, I suppose neither of you wants to see. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. See what? Well, I just wondered what you gentlemen might make out of this. It's a chocolate blancmange. No, no, it's it's oddly familiar though. Uh, not a not a hippo, is it? Hmm? Uh, no, 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 not a hippo. Uh, a lard pudding. So it? I know. It's your wife. My wife is not fat. Right, we can go in. So we do get another pass for Act Three, I think. That's the trouble with a feudal system, you see. Stewing means very little in the face of a stratified social structure. It's all a matter of social seniority. Seniority? Yeah, next time read the fine print. I see your point. Where's the thief? I think he went to the shades. It's a thief thing. Right, so nobody can get to go to the shades. Hey there, big boy. What's this line in aid of? Vending permits. You need one to sell wares in the city square. Really? Yep. So how'd a nice boy like... Hmm. I think I might just go... All the half theory. So, where have you been? Not born for most of it. Okay. So, get the rubbish. Let's use that one. And just chuck it on the jester. Me? I'm gonna chuck his dirty. Chuck it one bath! One bath! <sighs> Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. Right, so he's got gold bells on his hat, but we can't grab it because Chucky no, appears to be sentient. Be okay. Chucky power. Chucky power. Chucky 
Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! But I was not now they'll have to laugh. The comedy will be compulsory. Spontaneous hilarity. Everyone will laugh. A golden age. Oh, Lovely. So let's see if we can grab the cap. Oh, Chucky saw a wizard. Chucky, 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 Chuck. Quiet. Shh. Where's that? Up? Shut up. Look, will you just. Chucky, see? Yeah, very good. Right, bubble bath. Uh, there. That doesn't. There we go. Look, oh, that's sweet. There's anything that down here I need, work. is it? Yeah, I like shut up. Well, right, time to go to the shades. Uh, da, da. Uh, right, but we can't go there in the day. Yeah, this is was seen in the opening sequence. Ladies of negotiable affection. I was told this might be Big Sally's address. Can't imagine why that would interest you, big boy. Big boy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> What? Well, why? Well, you are wearing a dress. Look, it's not a dress, it's a wizard's robe. It looks like a dress. Well, it isn't. It's the costume of a very ancient and revered order of aesthetes. You run a lot, do you? You'd be amazed. Mind you, that's not surprising, going round this town wearing a dress. Madam, I don't like your inference. As a wizard, I am chaste. Walking round in a dress, I'm not surprised. If I was you, I'd hate to be caught. Can you at least tell me where to find Big Sally? Oh, sure, big boy. <laughs> big boy, <laughs> it cracks me up. Well? Well, what? Where is she? Oh, I'm Big Sally. You should have said. I've been told to come and ask you for one of your specials. Uh, a special? Um, yeah, that's right. And don't think I'm looking forward to it. All right, you go and get the milk, the egg and the flour, and I'll go and look for a really big bowl. Why is it I feel somewhat puzzled about that reply? Right, so we need to use the screwdriver on the coconut. That doesn't work. Right, so we give her the milk. Okay. Must be a big girl, she's managed to hide a coconut down there. Uh, egg. Lovely sound effects. And the bag of corn flour. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Okay. Good grief. Now look, I don't know about this. What is that? Hmm, my word. Mm. Uh. It's a bowl of custard. Didn't you like it? A bowl of custard? That's your special, making custard? Why not? I can't imagine what assumptions you've been making. I'm a woman of many parts. My old granny used to say that good kissing only lasts five minutes, but good cookery lasts for years. 
Many's the man who slips in here for a bowl of custard he can't get at home. Will you stop smirking like that? Hey, it's great. Mm. 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 Better than my granny's. And now I'm going to have a bath. It's messy work making good custard. The best thing about being a wizard is that you're not allowed any, uh, you know, but you can have as much custard as you like. Okay, so now I have yellow underwear. To go with the pink underwear. So why couldn't I just, anyway, in my mind. Okie dokie. Again, this isn't taking as long as it used to, because, well, you know where everything is once you've played it a few times. No, don't want to go that way, don't need to go that way, go back that way. Thank you. Do you know how sensitive this microphone is? Can you not do that right here? That's not any better. <laughs> Can you go somewhere else and do it? Here's the sideboard in the kitchen. You won't hurt your back leaning down like that. Sideboard? The side in the kitchen. Mm. Okay? That's what I, I do most of the I think I might need uh, the WD-40 to say where I I don't think it's I've got anything. Yeah, if there's anything in the shed. I read something in the shed. Just... Thank you, Max. No, too big. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Right. Right. Apologies for that interlude. Okay, so I need to come back here, but not yet. I need to go back to the present. So back in the hole. I think that genuinely was the last time I need to use our space. In this chapter, anyway. Yes, 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 yes. Right, back through here. Uh, right, go back to the shades. So, yeah, it's a little bit odd this because I'm going to give the yellow bloomers to the starfish who then gives me a bra, or I get a bra, which I'm going to use later, but I could use the bloomers. Uh, yeah, it makes sense, sort of. Luggage! Come here, bloomers. There you go. I'm alive. Now what's this handshake then? It's easy. You do this, then this, then... Right, okay. Cut short. There's a bar, for some reason. Okay. Right, I'm going to put that on the bra and leave it on the ladder rather. It's surrounded by noisy children today. Well, it is Sunday afternoon. It's glorious and sunny outside, but I can't go out because my hay fever is killing me. Um, next, I need to go to the shades. Shades in the day. It's a different place. Here's the plaster. He looks a lot like the fishmonger. Nice trowel. What trowel? I don't own any trowels. Yes, you do. You were using one just then. Liar. I saw you. Look, if I had a trowel, which is not to in any way imply that I actually do, it would be a tool of trade now, wouldn't it? I couldn't just let anybody mess around with it. What if that someone weren't just anybody, but someone pretty special in an unusual or useful kind of way? What? Like a colleague? Oh, actually I was thinking of a wizard. Really? Well, it would still have to be a pretty special kind of wizard. Okay. Don't get horrible. Alright, so, look at the mural. A mural? What's that scorched sort of smell? Lisa, I need to look at the trail. It's made of gold. Uh -huh. 
Uh, right, so I need to use that on him. I forget about those. Hey, so just what I wanted. Right, so I've got the trail. So I don't know what happened there, but hey ho. Kiki doki. So, no, this way. Oh, anyone does that. So we need to find. Don't really see the thief much, but we do need to go to his home, which is in here. Which is a logistical nightmare. If you're not paying attention, you'll fall like that to your death, surely. Oh, lovely mats. Uh, ladder with the bra. Can use that on the hovel. So it doesn't make any noise. I'm not going to go. Right, so he needs a key. Taking some kind of skeleton key. Right, feather. And that is the key. Right, well, I think I'm going to have to save it there. Okay, back in the moon, must remember to forget to do that, sorry about that. Uh, right, so the only one I've got left, I think, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, who's left? Chucky, oh, chimney sweep, right, chimney sweep is in the alley, and I lied earlier when I said I don't really need the things you get out of the... Um, the toy maker shop for that anything, work. but you do on this occasion. So let's get out of here. Don't think we need the shades anymore. Uh, that way. What's going on up there? It's a bit rough, that I think. Unless it's something we don't quite know what's going on, but why does he hide behind that door, that wall? This is a different sprite. Right, so I need to go into the alley. And I need to step on this, because I've got the hog barber, haven't I? Stop moving around. Yes, I do. Right, I need to put, right, chimneys, Hogfather doll in chimneys, is that where I need to go? Yes it is, right, that's that blocked. There it goes. Still no ladder, so that's going to be at three. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Lots of lovely, funny, funny effects. Right, so we need to go back into the alchemist shop. Making sure not to linger too long on there. Right, so, tricky this one. Luggage, Q. 
keg in the fireplace. Right. Uh, Need light. Oh no, thanks. I've already got one. This all takes some effort, you know. I'm putting myself out just for you, when there are thousands of other things I could be doing. Do I see any gratitude? I don't think so. Just stop following me, will you? I hope you realize I'm working my fingers to the bone. Jolly good. Uh... Right, so nearly done for Act 3, so I need the string, no, not the donkey, string on the kick. And now he's pointlessly running around and we can't see where he's going. Right, outside. Whilst before closing the door, there's the string, so matches. We got from the pub earlier, there they are. Stop it. And then the shoes. No, it's just poor welcome, it's just trying to do some work and we're blowing your shit out. Twice. Does it have to be that long? Kaboom. Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Luggage. There we go. We've got this chimney sweep. Do only good. Right, that's all six. So let's go to the dragon. There you go. Uh, dragon's in there, isn't she? I'd rather not. Right, okay, step up. There you go. Right, no, that one. Excellent. Thanks. Well, back. Yes. Um. Excellent. Thanks. Oh, well. same joke every time. They could have changed it up a bit. Excellent. Thanks. Yes, yes, soft skin. No, don't do that. Don't do that either. Trowel. Excellent. Thanks. Oh, stop it. So infuriating. Excellent. Thanks. Well uh, the belt. There you go. Ah, now I have them. Finally, I am free. Good. Well, you'll be off now, I suppose. <laughs> you know, back home to the old dimension. Home comforts, put your tail up and relax. Never. Now it is time to wreak my revenge upon this miserable world. First, I shall deal with the members of the Brotherhood, and then I shall come back for you. Me? But I wasn't even a part of it. You were there? Yes, but... Don't make any plans for the evening. Well, try that. Oh, what are you doing? What the hell was that? Okay, um, let's go square, let's have a lot of running around, oh there's Nanny, nice day for selling your wares, I, uh, I mean your produce, times are not so great though, the bottom has fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. <sighs> Where are... Well, I'll catch you. This has to be the main. Uh, carpet. Oh, I think I need to talk to her some more. Uh, 
how's the cutest? Go on, you're pulling my leg. How could you tell? Then again, there's... Ooh, give us a... Oh, eh, no. That doesn't... Okay, so how do I get the carpet? So, you find... Sure did, dearie. What, what interesting and magical items do you... Well, how about this magic carpet? Low mileage, only one owner, a little old lady... Look at that decor, all the trimmings. More like all the fraying. Come on now, sweetie. Well, okay then. All right, you've got the carpet. Uh... Yes, it's a witchy... Uh, custard book. What's this thing? Diff well, I'll ca Try and take the custard book. No. It's like two pixels wide. Ah, oh, this is infuriating. What's this thing? Oh, get out of the way. Custard book. Double click. Ah, oh, stop it. The luggage is getting in the way. Everything's getting in the way. How much do you want for your love potion custard recipe book? Sorry, love. I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. <sighs> How's the cute girl one? How could you tell? Then I... Ooh, give it... Right, okay. How's the cute girl? I could then again. Ooh. Eek. Oh, 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 no. Uh, it's literally one pixel wide. Oh, I'll catch you later then. This is infuriating. How's the cute girl? I could you then oh, give me. Oh, 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 no, thanks. <sighs> How's the girl? What? How could you? Then, ooh, eek. Oh, eh, no. Got it. Just right. So we have to stop them summoning the dragon. So the best way to do that is we have to go back into L space. Oh, yeah. Uh, hole. Oh, you have to be quick, otherwise she's going to kill everybody. Right, okay, I'm going to come back in here. Um, I've just had to redo a part of the game because there was a bug um, in the bit that's coming up next that it traps you in the past, basically. So I have just reloaded. I'm going to skip out of that. I'm going to skip through there. I'm going to very quickly save. Right, now I'm going to get the dragon book, which is red. Now I'm going to use the custard book on the dragon book. And then I'm going to put, okay. And I'm going to put the dragon book back in the hole, which, oh you swine. I only get a certain amount of time to do this. It's easy to go question mark, okay. So I'm going to very quickly load my last save. Right, so very quickly. No, do that. Get the book. That doesn't. Right, come on. Right, and I'm going to put the dragon book in the hole. Stop it. Again, I'm going to do it. load again, start again. Right, now I've done that, I'm going to take the book. Okay. Ah, uh, again! Ah, did I put it in there? Yes, did I put it in there? Oh, that was so infuriating. Hist. Hail, 
brother door opener. Doorkeeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. It's... Oh, for the spell of power, I'm gonna bring out the components of the potion, Brother Lightfinger? Yes, Brother Chuckles. Oh, the dark spirits of the universe. Mra, with this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these, um, these uh, eggs. Eggs. And this measure of corn flour. Mra, are you sure? As we consign the potion to the flames. Mra, boil and burn. Blaze and bubble. Wait. It says here. Simmer at low temperature for 15 minutes. Good grief. What the hell's going on? What exactly are we making? Have I ever told you how attractive I find you? Oh, Chucky Chucky! Goodness overcomes evil once again. The land is liberated. The serpent is gone. The dragon is dead. The dragon is dead. I killed him. Me. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Dragon? Don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. What? Quite so. And since no one believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Next. Hey. Here, wait a minute, I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. They don't exist. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Yes, they do. Do, 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 do and do. No, they don't. They do. They exist if you believe in them. Ah, but no one believes in them. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excuse me. Thank you so very, very much. They do. No, they don't. They do, they do, they do. Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, Genius. sensual, slavering. <laughs> Not too sure what that sound effect was supposed to signify. Ahem. Hello. Hello again. Oh, well, when I say believe, of course, I meant mm, had heard rumors unsubstantiated. Yes, well, now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. Ah, oh, sorry about the, uh, the slavery thing. A bit uncalled for, really. Yes, I'll deal with you later. Oh, it's you summoned it. You get rid of it. Well, here we go again. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Right, end of Act Two. Let's dive Act Three. That'll be it for this episode.